Hey Superstars, it is time for my September recap video. I really don't know where September went. I half expect to find it in my couch cushions. Uh, I've been working my tail off on TTM doodles, but I haven't written any form letters lately. So if anybody's volunteering to do that for me, let me know. Anyway, we got your care packages, we got your contest responses, and we've got your purchases. Actually, they're my purchases. You can't have them. They're mine. But let's talk more rock. Let's do this. First up, we got an envelope from Army Guy Autographs. Justin has some really cool TTMs, and he's a big Indians fan too, so you know he's a fine quality human being. And he sent an Andre Thornton autographed rookie card. I've been looking for this card, and I never got around to grabbing one. So thanks, Justin. This is awesome. Brian over at Topps Vintage 316 sent some goodies and a nice little note telling me to keep my eye on Alexa. Good advice, Brian. Nice. He sent over not one, but two Greg Swindell autographed rookies. And a Len Barker, Ron Washington, scary card. Swell Bob Feller, Corey's, Bieber, Dirtbag, Thunder. Yes, Alvaro Dance. Dang, Brian, you're too good to me. This next one is from my buddy and fellow TTM nerd, Math Bowler, who has insanely awesome handwriting and an insanely awesome drawing of me. Oh, neat. He showed these off on his channel. Here is a Daniel Johnson with a piece of stadium map from FNB Field. I like this kid a lot. And a field art stencil piece from Huntington Park in Columbus. That is a great AAA stadium. These are really, really neat. Thank you, sir. The hits keep coming. Let's see what Caleb sent over. Oh, wow. Look at that Bob Feller statue. That's a mighty fine feller. Caleb, that is, but uh, Feller is a mighty fine feller, too. Thank you, Caleb. This is awesome. Dan from Mets Rules sent some goodies. A pack of 92 Pinnacle. We'll save that for a TTM video. I love my Manny rookies. The K-Train. Nobody ever called them that that I know of, but why not, right? Some 81s. We got Lenny, Thunder. Some more Alvaro goodness. I wish I had time for some AEs and LPs today, but it's just not in the cards. See what I did there? Omar, Omar, Kenny Rookie, yes, some more Alvaro. Thanks, Dan, these are so rad, I love it. Cole and his dad, Jeff, from Barnstormer Baseball Cards sent me an email asking if they could send over a rack pack for TTMing. I said, sure, but this is a huge box for a rack pack. What the heck is in this thing? Oh, wow. An 88 Fleer set, an 88 Score set, yep, all there. 88 Donruss set, still in the wrappers. That's a whole lot of TTM fuel. Oh, they spelled it R-A-K, like Random Act of Kindness. That is awesome sauce. Thanks so much, Cole and Jeff. Go check those guys out. They're pretty cool. Zane is one of my cohorts on the Autographers Anonymous podcast. Yes, this is actually my very first TTM request. I think Zane wants to write my form letters for me too. And look at this awesome card he made up. I love it. One for me and one for him. I thought it would be funny to go through all the effort to make a stamp to sign this with, but Zane deserves the real deal. So there you go, buddy. On its way back to you, sir. Jeremy IPTTM has been supporting me for a long time and is a super good dude. He just hit 250 subs and he's doing a giveaway and I'm more than happy to support him. He wants to see a completed set and our unopened stashes. So for my completed set, I've got my 1950 Bowman Indians team set with uh, Bob Feller, Larry Doby, Bob Lemon, Lou Boudreau, Joe Gordon, lots of Hall of Famers here. Then we got Mike Garcia, early win, and my boy Al Rosen, rookie card. I'm still working on the 51s, but I've got all the 52s. Again, Garcia, Lemon, Feller, Doby, early win there. These are just gorgeous cards. I love the artwork on these ones. Uh, okay, my stash, this is all really TTM junk wax. I got some rack packs, 86, 88, 89, and 90 tops. Some complete sets, you just saw some of those. Everyone needs some Bill and Ted cards. Excellent! 83 Donruss Action All-Stars, a box of random wax packs. We've got 91 Bowman, 88 Fleer, 92 Donruss, and some 93 Upper Deck. And back here, we've got way too much 92 score and some 88 Top Cellos. 69, dudes! 
Congrats, Jeremy. I'm so happy for you, buddy. Collectorholic has been supporting me longer than anyone else I can think of besides my mom. He's another great dude and very active and supportive. He just hit 2,000 subs and he's doing a giveaway as well. He wants to see our other collections and I know Chris collects comics so I thought he might get a kick out of my Durf collection. Durf grew up in Akron near me and lives in Cleveland. He used to have a syndicated cartoon strip in the independent weekly papers and now spends his time making really cool graphic novels. His first graphic novel, Punk Rock and Trailer Parks, I actually bought this as a gift for a friend, but he inscribed it to me, so I kept it. His next book is Trashed, about working as a trash guy. Got a little doodle in there, too. His biggest claim to fame is that he went to high school with Jeffrey Dahmer, so here's his book, My Friend Dahmer. I don't have a signed copy of this one, but I do have an unused penciled page from the book. Um, they made a movie out of this one a couple years ago, and his latest book just came out about the Kent State shootings 50 years ago. I sat down and ripped through this one in about an hour and a half. It is really, really good. So, congrats, Collectaholic. 2,000 subs is pretty sweet. You may know Garrett, a.k.a. the card cutter, and his wife Tiffany run Slab City on the Facebook, where they do group PSA authentication submissions. I just got back stuff from my first submission. Here is my very first TTM ever from when I was a little kid, Mr. Mark Grace, and then my very first in-person autograph, Julio, and I showed this one recently, but I thought it was worth slabbing, Larry Doby. But uh, here are other really cool ones. Here's my Eddie Robinson doodle and my Carl Erskine doodle. It's just really neat to see these in slabs. So thanks, Garrett and Tiffany, for helping me out with these. I love them. All right, we're almost done, I promise. Here are my purchases from this month. The Don Mossy collection is growing. Here's an autographed 1975 TCMA. It's a beauty and a 79 TCMA. Love those. Bought autos from a bunch of dead guys named Al. We've got Al Luplo, my man Al Rosen, and Hall of Famer Al Lopez. I didn't have him before, so I'm excited about that one. Speaking of Hall of Famers, I didn't have an Earl Averill autograph either, so I picked up this nice postcard. I bought another really cool Rocky Calavito autograph. This one's on a 64 Tops Giant. He's on the wrong team, but I really love these cards, and I'm a sucker for vintage cards signed in pen. And last week was my birthday, and every year for my birthday, I've been buying myself a bigger card. You know, those cornerstone cards you want to stare at and sleep with, but your wife gets jealous. This year, I had planned on buying a T206 Napoleon Lajeway. But with everything the way it is, it just wasn't happening. But I'm thrilled to add this 1958 Roger Maris rookie to my collection, and I hope Roger doesn't take offense to being Plan B, but I still really love this card. I've come so close to buying this card quite a few times, so I'm thrilled to finally get it in the collection. So that's all I got today. I'm looking forward to starting 118 back up after baseball season. Some of you have been asking about that. Nothing else new to report, so big hugs and thank yous to Army Guy Autographs, Topps Vintage 316, Math Bowler, Caleb, Mets Rule, Cole and Jeff from Barnstormer Baseball Cards, Zane Savage, congrats again to Jeremy IPTTM and to Collector Holic, and thanks again to Slab City for helping me get all my autos slabbed and authenticated. Stay safe, sane, and healthy. Good luck to all your baseball teams, and we will see you next week.